Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Elkhart, Indiana at Open House, or should I say Middlebury, Indiana? We're in Elkhart right now. We are in Elkhart. Open house at the Coachman Display, looking at everything new for 2024. New brands, new floor plans, new interior schemes when it comes to every Coachman that we sell for Motorize for 2024. And behind me is something very, very, very new. And this looks like something that we took a look at last month when we were in Dusseldorf, Germany. Coming back to the show, Zach Heffers. Hey, hey Zach. thanks for having me. Thanks for, uh, thanks for doing the Bourbon and Bonfire Edition with us. That was a great video and a great success at Hershey. So, you, you guys are riding on a high with we the are. Bourbon and Bonfire Edition. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, um, kind of. We, we decided to kind of surprise everyone this week, and uh, we wanted to introduce the Coachman Euro. E-U-R-O? Yep, E-U-R-O. Which is funny because this looks a lot like the European Class A's that we see in Dusseldorf. We actually had a couple dealers here yesterday that, that thought we imported this from Europe. Oh, so, yeah? Yeah, so the, uh, the look from the outside, the inside, we're very excited. It's, um, you know, when, when we built this, we built it out of, a, uh, the first one out of a bay. We just kind of threw everything out the window that we normally build by North American standards and, yes. and really focused on, hey, how do the Europeans do it? Yeah, and, we, uh, yeah. And that's why, you know, we, we were inspired by them. So we, you know, as an homage to them, that's why we call it the Coachman Euro. I love it. I love the name. I love the look. And here's what's really exciting. To me, when I see this, this is competitors to the Thor Access Vegas. But there's one big difference, and that is? Well, this is on the F53. So you're gonna be on a chassis. bigger chassis, yes. bigger tires, you know, more towing capacity, more cargo carrying capacity. Um, I mean, it's just the look of it. I, I think people say it might, you know, be similar to that, but I think, uh, I think it's way different. For sure, uh, yeah. for sure. And when you're talking about chassis, it is different. So when we do a Thor Axis Vegas, we talk about the SUV. That's a Class C chassis ripped apart and designed like a Class A. That's why that cargo carrying capacity is going to be lower. No disrespect to it, um, but it's just a lighter weight chassis. This is a true F53, which this is what they make all the Class A's on. So it's really exciting how small and low it looks. Can we take a look at the outside yeah. and then look at the inside? So tell us some awesome features yeah. about this tweet on. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see this in person, is Novi confirmed? So it looks like we will have um, this up at Novi to get some customer feedback on it. And, yes. And uh, it'll be the first time um, any retail customers will see it. Perfect. So make sure if you guys are coming to the Novi Michigan show, stop by and see that. Also, make sure you tune into Matt's RV reviews because we're going to be giving away 50 bottles of liquefied our black tank treatment every single day at the uh, Novi show to the first 50 people. And maybe we do something where the first 50 people that see this get one too. We'll talk yeah. to we'll talk to our parts team at General. So, tell us what we got going on here. Yeah, so it's, you know, the first thing we want to start off with is, you know, in the past when we've tried making a small class A, we've taken a, you know, a 30-foot coach or, you know, a 38-foot coach and tried cutting it down to 25 feet, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still 12 and a half feet tall. It's still 102 inches wide you know it just doesn't doesn't feel small so our whole thing like this is how how do the europeans do it how do they build small class a's and you know they have shorter bridges over there narrow roads so so the first thing we did is actually we brought in uh the width of our chassis here we actually made it more narrow nice um so it's under 100 inches in width most you know most rvs are 102 inches wide so again it's easier to maneuver. What I like that is the tires sit out further from the ground. So, I mean, the way this thing rides, okay. you get that 50 degree wheel cut, it, it, is, it is the best class A gas RV I've ever driven. Um, the height too, it's only 11 feet. So it's actually smaller than some class C's as far as the actual height, but we still give you two ACs, ducted ACs, yeah. uh, 13 fives. We added these, um, you know, nice diesel chrome mirrors. You typically don't see this until yeah. you get to like a $500,000 bus. Right. Um, and then for the paint job, you know, we wanted to keep it simple. Sometimes, keep it Euro. Yeah, this we, is Euro. Yeah, we get way too crazy with the colors and swoops. And, you know, this is this is something that you can park in your driveway. And, you know, it's it's a big SUV, basically. Right. You know, it's, it's sleek looking. Your neighbors are going to want to come over and check out the inside. Something that I'm seeing, I'm seeing these really cool looking rims. Those are definitely aftermarket. The 22, uh, the 245, that 70R, 19.5 inch tires. But again, the, the very basic paint scheme with the Lippert windows, we call them the Brinkley windows or whatever. But uh, these are, th that's from Lippert, right? Yep, yep. Yep, those are the Lippert windows. Really nice looking design here. And you didn't paint the water heater, but with this paint job, it's kind of not needed. You know what I'm saying? It's still kind of, 
It's not sticking out like a sore thumb. Anything else on the outside that we're missing here? Not a ton. I mean, on this side, it's going to be, you know, your generator, sewage. Um, there's really not too much storage on this side being, you know, it's 25 EU. So um, all your storage we put on the campsite and then all your propane and stuff like that we put on your non-campsite. Perfect. And just so you know, we are here at open house. There's dealerships everywhere. Everybody, and this is the hot unit. So we will do a full review on this unit at Novi together. Uh, and then that way, you know, it gives you a little bit more time to learn about this. Yeah. Because you literally said this got finished Sunday and parked here Sunday night. Yeah, we literally backed this thing down the aisle. So for you guys that are on here, it's about a quarter of a mile. We had oh. to back it down. Oh, because everything else was already... Because everything oh, else wow. was already That's crazy. So, yeah. Well, let's take a look at the other side. Look at the headlight designs. I mean, this is, this is so European looking. Uh, really nice front windshield the curvature in here and that's something that the Europeans do a lot is the the curvature I, I like guess. this window here so right do the doggy window yeah. So you can, yeah some good visibility so got a nice large storage compartment here and another storage compartment over here nice nobody's in here nice anything Gerard else on awning? the outside no now Tom we do did we did do the legless uh, Gerard arm awning this wind sensor um, and then a fiberglass roof too what about Asdell yep Asdell we nice. incorporated Asdell on our interior and exterior um, just because uh, this is the European specs, we still wanted to make this um, construction-wise just like every other coach we've oh First look, do a 360 to goodness. the right, Andrea, and then walk back to the rear. Show the whole thing real quick. Wow. This is exciting. How much are these? Um, MSRP is going to be about 210 on it. Look at, oh, I love it. Hold on, guys. You know I got to peek in the bathroom. You know I have to king size bed that's great man this is phenomenal looking now zach what is this gonna msrp for so the msrp is gonna be right around two hundred thousand dollars for this okay um, we're still just like you said yeah you know i got the first one we're still finalizing some pricing on this but that's uh that looks like it's gonna land right around two hundred thousand msrp by the way you guys can help determine this if the price is going to be more like 190 200 or if it's going to be more like 210 220 based off of your feedback please comment down below let them know if you like those fancy looking rims he told me they were like four grand if that's not important to you comment that if these cabinet colors or this super solid surface countertop whatever you like and don't like about this please know because that's going to be the differential between a 190 and a 220. oh my gosh <laughs> i love new i'm in love i love new okay andrea you know oh my gosh f53 cockpit area very nice steering wheel both these seats swivel around. Look at the nice big iPad that comes with it. iPad. Um, right here we do have our workstation. Very typical. But look at the curvature yes. here. No bunk over the cab. Very, very nice. And then this is look huge. Look at this. This is what we were seeing in Europe. Yes. So what we were seeing in Europe in their motor homes, the all, a lot of their seats were safety seats or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they had... Like there wasn't sofas in Europe. They were all more like this with proper seatbelts and everything. I love how you have both. Oh my God, you did it. And I say it all the time. There's no dinette in here. Yep. I love that. Me too. You don't need it. This is what you need. Yep. Yep. And you can take but it hey, off. Hey, but what do I know, right? <laughs> this is very, very nice. Zach, take over. Tell us, tell us what we got going on. Yeah, I mean, up from the front, we also added a material called Dynamat up in the front. So we actually brought our decibel level by uh, 25 decibels. So we went from about 85 down to 60. We brought the temperature down in the doghouse by 25 degrees. So we also did some, you know, like kind of put some new technology in here that's that quite frankly, we don't even have pricing for or is not even uh, available to the market yet. But uh, so that's another reason. I mean, it's smaller, it's more narrow, it sits lower to the ground. Um, you know, the weight's really good on both sides, so it drives really nice, and that Dynamat, it really keeps it very, very quiet up top. The other thing I like is that seat goes all the way back, and I'm six feet tall, and I can barely touch the pedals when it's all the way back. So yes. especially for taller customers, this is actually our, um, has the most, like, comfortable driving yes. space for someone yes. tall. Um, and then, just like you were saying, Matt, we really wanted to go automotive on not only the outside, but also the inside. So we gave you some nice captain chairs here. They do have the leg kick up here. Um, you have a, um, a sofa, a comfortable sofa here that does turn into a bed if you need a secondary bed. And then here in the galley, 
Um, I made a ton of, you know, 25 EU, you get a ton of prep space, induction cooktop, you have your convection microwave down here. You know, is this necessary, the big galley? I love um, that. Range hood? Probably not, but it looks awesome. It does. Guys, yeah. nice comment down yep. below. Yep. Because again, I, I, I can it. promise you this, if this sucker comes in, a dollar over 200,000, I can promise you that's gonna be the first thing that's gonna go. <laughs> so, if you guys like it, comment and they'll keep it. And if you don't like it, let us know. Because again, anything extra, that's the stuff on the chopping block in my opinion. Like, the bathroom isn't on the chopping block, but that range hood is, you know? I'm telling you, I think that range hood looks really awesome right there and i do i gotta Look, say switches oh here we go yeah right. i was like i saw the led strip LED like, right. i love and i love the led lights on the ceiling i haven't yes. seen this but in high-end high-end diesel well no this is this is the new lighting and we've seen a few brands doing this so far i think it was high-end diesels soft touch ceiling yeah we wanted to get rid of all those puck lights integrate yes. um our no, lighting the, in our bat yeah the encore's doing this I, now. okay i haven't seen it recently but, you know but, we have some open shelving with yes, the, you know the spice very rack stuff cute. like that it gives it a nice look um european cabinets um you know real backsplash, the backsplash yeah. it's, it's adorable just and like I, you were saying integrated shades see that's great and you didn't shades, do balances shades. in here no yeah. balances. i love that guys and make sure you stick around because again we're focusing a lot on this it's brand new but we are going to show you all the new coachments for 2024 so make sure you stick around yeah so i mean again what i like is you're the same size as a you know, almost an elongated class b you know mercedes so easy you're now you're easy. You're, <laughs> zach you're stretching now. You're 27 feet those are 24 feet so oh really three feet longer really? Look how much more counter space you get you get a dedicated sofa you can sit six people up front comfortably wow and then yeah. what you typically lack in something that size is storage so you got two wardrobes here there's actually two trash can areas one in the oh, front nice. and then another one here you know we wanted to do a lot of fun things like wow. that we'll have nice. recycling in here as well um you know you get a spice rack here um or you know for other other um pantry, uh, pantry. Yes. yep thank you dude i love the cabinetry me too another big um wardrobe okay, that's here. great there's another wardrobe and then what I like about this is typically something this size, you're gonna have some type of corner bed. You know, you can't walk around. Correct. With this bed, you can walk all the way around. King size That's bed. Nice. Um, you know, you do have a TV in here too, which is nice. And then. Um, does it, so does it fold up? Yeah, it, it folds. Yeah, so the bottom okay. will fold when this is all the way in. Okay. And then what's nice is you can still access your bathroom. And again, for something this size, look how big your bedroom and bathroom is. So that's something that I want to point out. Guys, when we were in these Euro RVs, they weren't giving you king beds. They weren't giving you queen beds. They were giving you twins and singles yep. and stuff like that. So like, I love how this is the Euro look with like the American comforts. Yes. Like, even though it's a fold up bed, guys, it's a king size bed. It's not a corner crawl in single or half single, half double, you know. So I like that. Good for you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth, everyone. Okay, so, well, I don't know. It's, close the door real quick. I, I wanna see if you can yeah. shut the door. Hmm, can you That's funny, door? Zach. It's not a prime poop position, but it's not not a prime poop position. Like I'm not touching anything, and it is porcelain. I am a little elevated, but my feet are down. Like I could pass this, and I could fail this. I'm gonna make it net neutral. And here's what I will say: when I do the review, I probably will pass this because it's it's what it is. Yeah. If I'm in an encore, I'm failing this. But since I'm in a euro, you know, no slide outs or just that one slide out. Like, it's definitely very, very good and acceptable. Good job. Yeah, part of it too. Were, were you gonna? Were you guys thinking about a plastic toilet? No, I would say when we dropped the chassis, we had to raise. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Raise, yeah. And, and so that's part what of I'm the saying. Years, we had to work on how to do the toilet. Right, but like, did you guys like draw this up with like a plastic toilet and you're like, hey, you better not. We actually, we found out you were coming and we switched it out. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in Nova, I will be a, pl a plastic toilet again. I gotta say, I, I'm really liking these LED lights up here too. Yes. That's what a lot of the motorhomes lack is the lights. Yes. They just do regular lights. But yeah, I mean, Matt, it's a good shower. Very nice you can shower. see that there, nice sink, rectangle sink. Yes. I like the color in here. I like that you just went dark in here. Mm -hmm. Zach, anything else? No, I think, you know, that pretty much, you know, is a, the nickel tour, as I like to say. Perfect. Even a nickel tour that was 15 minutes long. Guys, first, Zach, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Matt. 
Thank you, Andre. Make sure beautiful, you, beautiful. Amazing motorhome. Thank you for uh, doing everything that you do for us. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let us know what you like about the Euro, what you don't like about the Euro. Make sure you guys come stop by the Novi show. One, stop by anyway. But two, there's a 50-50 chance that this is going to be here for the first time ever for consumers to see. Um, anything else you want to say? Yeah, I mean, we're still looking for a lot of customer feedback and a lot of, you know, the way this was built was based on, on your guys' feedback. And just uh, thank you. And hopefully welcome you to the Coachman family in the future. Yes, and so thank you everybody. Now, don't leave. We're about to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode, and then we're gonna take a look at some awesome other Coachman Motorhomes. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip, like fuel, rest stops, brake areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. <laughs> yes, sir. We are back. Welcome again, everybody. And welcome again, Joe Mullins, one of my very first friends in the RV industry. Very first. Yeah, very, very the first. The first one. The first. No, I think you were the first. He was. Yeah, first, yeah. yeah, perfect. Yep. So uh, behind us, uh, you said that we were about to put together a pretty good deal on these. On the new floor plan, it's a side aisle motorhome floor plan. For us older people, we look back to 2004, 2005 number one selling floor plan in the industry for class a's by far and this is sports coach with his class a diesel pusher let's take a look on the inside okay we're gonna go back and reinvent the wheel now all right aluminum slam latch doors this five fiberglass uh outside with asdell it does have the vault chassis where we're going underneath the rail got a bag in the way right now but okay really open up the storage like on our bath and a half model where you have the two big doors here, yep. you open that up, it looks like a race rail chassis now. Right, and it is a straight rail chassis, which helps save on the price, but if you can have a straight rail and still have fantastic storage and keep that price point down, it's phenomenal. Absolutely. Jump on in, front entry. Oh my goodness! This is our only sports coach that has a freestanding table and chairs. Okay. I know in the past we've lost, actually have lost deals because we did not have that. So when we reinvented the wheel with this side aisle floor plan, we brought that back. This tabletop will actually just fold down out of the way for a 36 foot coach. Look at all the countertop you're getting, yep. how wide open it is. Got the power theater seating here. And this is what people are looking for. They're looking for small. They're looking right. for air ride. They want freight liner, but they but they want a diesel for the ride, not because they're towing a stacker trailer. Right. You're towing a stacker trailer, you got to get a bigger one, right? But this, I mean, this is gonna give you that ride and that small footprint. I'm liking it. At her at Hershey, we talked about the SRS being more of a weekend warrior one. Yeah. This one could actually be not just a weekend warrior, but a full timer as well. For sure. Well, all all the RVs that we look at can be can go both ways. There's people that have Prevos that are weekend warriors, That's you know true. what I'm saying? So I really like this. I really like this kitchen design. It has really good flow over here. We also designed this with the induction cooktop. You can actually lift it out, oh, unplug nice. it, take it outside, fry your bacon, fry your fish, so you don't smell up the inside of the coach also. Very nice. So we've got that. Nice theater, theater seats there, there, good refrigerator. The big windows in the hallway. Oh, that that look was at this. always a feature. In the past, the windows used to come down I remember to the that. floor and people would joke, hey, I can't walk by in my you know, right. birthday suit now. The neighbor's going to see me. Well, see, now you can I still just wear windows. the top and be right. naked in the bottom. Right. And, and then, then going back to the bedroom, this is, to me, it's got a lot of wow factor. When you turn the corner here, you got sure. the fireplace in the bedroom. Nice, oh. spacious, queen size bed. Queen size, and this is the only floor plan for sports coach that has a queen size bed. Yep. Again, that's been one of those things that, you know, there's some people that they still want the queen. They Kings are nice, but they don't want that. They want to walk around so they yep. can make the bed easily. Exactly. Got the hidden storage behind here. This floor plan, we went with the combo washer dryer just because we're limited on space, like but that's an option. Right. Now, me personally, I like the king size bed personally. Right. But with that said, what I like more is 
different floor plans and different options. Right, definitely. You know? I like this color too. Lighter grays, dark yep. grays. It's gone over very well. Dual entrance into the bathroom. And one other change we made in our in our SRS, we thought we made a great decision going to fiberglass showers a couple years ago. Okay. But the thing we didn't realize when you go fiberglass, that eats up a couple inches. So we had the smaller showers. Now we went back to the a ABS surrounds. So now we've got bigger showers than these as well. And that was a one of our negatives that we've had to overcome. Look, the past yeah, year. it's a good size. Yep. You know, I don't care about a fiberglass shower. I care about a good size shower. Good size. Nice. I like, oh, it's very pretty. Again, we sold this one on the first day of the show. Yep. And it, it didn't shock me because I'm very familiar with this floor plan, very excited about it. And yep. can't wait to, I think, not not the fall Novi show, but in the spring, I definitely see it up there. And I think we're going to get one going down to probably Ocala. I have nice. one that's going to probably be down there next month. I had a backup for Hershey and Bob said, we might want to send that one to Florida. So. Send to Florida. And once it's in Florida, Andre and I will do a proper review on it. But again, guys, the one thing I want to mention, we got a lot more Coachmans to take a look at, Coachman Motorhomes. But the one thing I want to mention, Zach Epper's down, Joe Mullins, let's name all team members. Go. Mike Kaiser, our engineering staff, uh, Eric Smith, Alvin Hanshue that runs our plan. He's the one that has a brain trust behind that Euro unit. Well, all those units, all those people, I mean, all that leadership is why Coachman is doing this weird stuff, this different stuff. And don't get me wrong, you guys are going to come out with a dog one day. We will. But, <laughs> but. Not right now. It happens. But, I mean, you guys are killing it right now. And I was talking with them, and I'm like, dude, there's some other brands, and they're tried and true. You know, I like innovative brands. Yes. Because this is how you change the industry. This is how yeah. you change the look. And you don't know it until you do it. And you guys did it first with the Encore. Right. And then you came out with um, Con Concord. Yep. Encore, Concord. Entourage. Entourage, mm -hmm. right? Is Concord doing well? Yeah, that's class C's. I'm a yeah. Yeah. Okay, guy. okay. And a gas guy now. But too. again, but but again, you got those three. Now you have the Euro. You got this new interior designs. These are just looking absolutely fantastic. And we we as the RV community appreciate what Coachman does. Anything else you want to say? We keep trying every day. Every it used to be model changes once a year. Now it's daily at Coachman. It Love really, it. Truly, truly is. So. Love it. Love it. Guys, let's take a look at another motorhome. Great. So now we're going to take a look at the Coachman Murata, and they're doing some really crazy things with their interior designs. Let's take a look. This is the model 32 LS. In this color scheme, I have not seen before in a motorhome. Have you seen this yet, Andrea? This gray? This look. Yes. Um... The brown, or is this brown or gray? You know, I think it's against the gray. I think it looks a little bit taupe, but no, this gray seems to be with what Coachman's going with lately. So. Okay, okay, so this is the same color as the yeah. sports coach. Got it. But still, it looks very fantastic to see this in the Murata product as well. Oh. Nice bathroom here. Ooh, okay. A little bit of storage. Stackable washer dryer prep. Guys, the Murata is their middle, it's a small step below the Encore. Um, and to still get all these very nice interior looks and features is fantastic. Nice artwork, good windows, these LED light strips. And again, all these color schemes are fantastic. This with the brown furniture or dark gray, I don't even know how to call it. This color is fantastic. And then let's take a look at some more Coachman's. Next up, my personal favorite, B-Vans. And we're looking at the Novi, and new for this year, they've added the pop top on the Ram chassis. Um, they also said there's a new color in the Galleria. If we just want to pop in real quick. What I do like about B-Vans is I can just stick the camera in and show you guys the new color scheme. Very, very nice. Oh, it looks like there's new cabinets as well in there. Looks very good, very clean look. But I'm more excited about this Nova. Nova here. <clears throat> Watch your step on radio. Okay. Very, very cool. This is the Nova. This is their cheapest class B motor home. Very, again, still very nice cabinetry. You got a little TV here. Euro style windows right there. Very nice. Over here. 
Is your wet bath? Hold on, Matt. Let me just get this. I like this lagoon table. Yes. So, this wet bath real quick. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Very cool. And then we have a ladder that gets up onto the pop top. Just like that. <laughs> I thought you were gonna climb up it for a second. No, I'm not climbing up it. No ladders. Yep, no, no, not, not, not these ladders. Not for me. Not right now, anyway. Very, very cool. Again. Bug screen. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of B vans, but all these manufacturers have really been going all in on the B van life, which just makes more innovative designs, and we love seeing that. I see on the next row there's something very interesting. So let's take a look at that. All right, so now we're taking a look at some Class C's and some smaller stuff. Behind me, this is not a Coachman Leprechaun. This is the Coachman Freelander, and they now have the optional full body paint. This is the 26 MB, which is gonna be a Murphy bed floor plan. We're gonna take a look at it in just a second. And then look at this. This has a huge, this has a real outside kitchen. Nice gray stone cooktop, hot point refrigerator, and um, Magic Chef microwave right here, and a sink that's actually plumbed through, and a propane quick connect if you want to have a grill on the outside and you even have this table set up right here very very cool now that's camping yes yes it is coming on in here oh Pardon thank me. you sir yeah. coming on in here wow see they do it different they're still putting their yes. u-shaped dinette in here and you get a very long murphy bed i like this setup check out this kitchen countertop area refrigerator here TV, fireplace, entertainment center, and you're able to get a combo washer Wait, dryer. Are we in, in the Freelander? This is a Freelander. Oh my goodness. Really good size rare bathroom Let me here. see this. Wow. Wow. Very, very nice. And I love this Murphy bed. Look how long this sofa right. is. This is very, very good nice. Good placement for the TV right here. I like that. You know what it is, Andre? The market. They want to. They want small, but they also want to have their sofa, their dinette, and the king size bed. And with the Murphy bed set up, you're able to get all that. Oh my goodness! Look at that. If you don't have enough counter space, you got this too. And this, this unit actually has the Bigfoot auto leveling. Solid surface countertop as well in here. Wow! I'm impressed. Yes. All right. Come on now. Bubble flies were so good. The prism. No, I don't think this prism. That's the MB that you did. Okay, this is the MB that we did. We'll take a look at it again. The team at Coachman says you guys really kicked the boat when you saw this floor plan. I send it everywhere. Good. You guys know I already love this bathroom. No, it's a great floor. Yes. They got the combo washer dryer down there. Fireplace. Ah, TV on a televator. Nice, so behind it is a Coachman Cross Trail, but you can now get it on the Mercedes <gasps> chassis. Oh, look at the color on it now. Yes. They changed it's it up. Mercedes, wow, so you can get it on the Mercedes. No. Perfect, take, take a look at the inside, I'll try. Oh, was there front lights? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the front lights. Take a look at those. And then we're also gonna be uh, looking to do a brush car in the front as well. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So this on the new Mercedes You guys can see those. Drive. They got those little. Uh, it will be in the future. Yeah. That one is not one okay, the future. good, good. But in the future, it'll be available. Very nice. Black aluminum wheels. Very cool. Let's take a look at the inside on Dre. And this is crazy because I don't see a slide out. No slide. Oh, good. A Mercedes unit with no slide. Right. That is very cool. And I love this. This is exactly what I want. You know, give me the sofa that converts into the dinette area. Now, now Nick, what are these, Um, why don't you introduce yourself to yes. everybody? I'm Nick Turlop, I'm the sales and product manager with Coachman Prism and Crossrail. Nice, good to see you, great. Have you ever been on the show? I don't think I have, first of all. Welcome time. to the show. Thanks, thanks, looking forward to it. So uh, <laughs> t tell us about the inspiration of this product. So really where it came from is uh, I was out at the Adventure Van Expo in California in April and just really noticed that bulk of the customers in the adventure van realm like that Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Oh yeah. And then with us getting the all wheel drives here um, in a short time, we're gonna start building this cross trail that's gonna be specific for that chassis and then 
really where we're going to go with this is no slides Love at it. all. So in future floor plans, the goal is going to be no slides, really get creative with it, and then uh, get a, a venture look like we do with the cross show and the transits. Love it. Yep. So Nick, what's the MSRP on this? It'll be 147. Nice, nice. Keep on looking, Andrea. <laughs> that is a phenomenal MSRP for a Mercedes. Cabinets. Corner bed. Cabinets all around. We've got nice. the 200 watt solar panel on the room. package. <sighs> very, very nice. Yeah, it's gonna be you know modeled after our 24 CV floor plan. On the yep. Prism. Yep. However. Um, you know, no, no slides, just a real, real winner uh, with this cross show line. For sure, absolutely. Induction cooktop, Induction Very cooktop, nice. convection microwave. Nice, and then you said there was one other thing that was new? Uh, no, us? we do have the cross show extreme behind us though. Okay, did we, have we seen that yet on the show? The 20 XG? Um, oh yeah, we've seen that, but, oh, yeah. but, but still. It's extreme now. <laughs> it's been extreme. Oh, but you haven't seen Has this? it been extreme? Oh, we haven't seen this one? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think we've it. seen it. Yes, sir, I'm Because it's new. <laughs> oh. This one will put an exterior Hello. kitchen out here, so you have your, uh, your griddle. Nice. Yeah, so you nice. can be able to get out here and cook your meats, your veggies, whatever you want. Yeah. My so buttered sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Then you got the uh, storage of the bikes. The bed back there goes up and down. Butter sausage. I want to talk about some butter sausage. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that clip? All uh, right. I have not. So oh, I'm gonna go so in fun. here. Who's that crazy guy? No slides in here either, which is nice. The Euro yeah, style. These will be techno form cabinets. Techno um, form. Italy, yeah. Very. Yeah, I like it. All right. So let's see. We got a split bathroom. Good shower. Here is, oops, sorry guys. Here is the toilet. Okay, oh, and then, no, it just has the, no, be, the bed, the loft. Possibility of to go. As you can see under, do you have the D-rings yeah. there? If you need to bring your bikes. You got another induction cooked up here. And then this coach is the 400 amp hour lithium battery. Wow, 400 amp hour. Wow. 3000 watt inverter. Yeah. And then you can also add in uh, another 400 amp hours and get 800 amp hours of lithium. That's funny. Nice. So then um, this is phenomenal. We're going to wrap it up with the entourage or somebody's in it. So just give us a quick second. All right, to wrap it up is the Coachman Entourage. Beautiful, new with the full body paint and Battleborn batteries. And with me is Mike. Hey Mike. Hey Matt. What's you, going on, man? Happy one year anniversary to you. Thank you very much. Last man. year you didn't want to be on video. You're like, Matt, I've only been here for three days. And I still don't want to. But yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I, I'm looking at this. This is a yeah. new floor plan with the bow, bunk bed office, wardrobe, and a class C's phenomenal. But what's up with this international chassis here? So we're we're running the new 340BH on the international chassis, 22,000 pounds. Okay. It's got good carrying capacity on this, and it's only available on the international chassis. For the 340BH? For the 340BH. The 330 will still be available on the international and the Chevy 50. Perfect. So you got op you got floor plans. We got options. That's right, buddy. Beautiful full body paint. What's new for 2024? Now that this has finally hit some dealership lots, and you guys are hearing feedback. From yeah. It. Yep. So this year, whole new interior on the coach. We offer three full body paints now as well, and a partial paint. So nice. If you don't want to do the partial, we have three color schemes. This is the Maverick. It's going to be the black and white. We have the Maven, which is going to be more of the blue uh, accent, and then the Malibu, which is going to be the Shaquille O'Teal look. The what? <laughs> the Shaquille O'Teal. Teal. Teal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then it looks like they're coming with Battleborn batteries. Yep, Battleborn is something new that we're going to be offering this year. Um, as far as an option, yeah, it's an upgrade for the better. And then, if you ask me, I'd like to give you a congratulations on getting one of the top picks from our friends JD, Big Truck, Big RV. That is not an easy accomplishment, especially for motorhomes. I think he only gave it to like three motorhomes. I know he was uh, first. It was probably the first day and first coach that he was in and gave oh, it yeah. to us this year. Yeah, yep. very cool. I mean, in in to put it in retrospect, the the only other motorhome that I know he selected was that um, Fleetwood with that kid's cave in the yep, ring, you yep, know? Yep. So like JD, you know, JD picked, he only had 10 of these. Yeah. So that's really, really cool. Yep. Take a look at the inside, Andrea. Yeah. All right, let's do a, oh, okay, look at this. All right, walk all the way down, yes. Andrea. Little step up. Master bedroom, 
Looks like it so. comes with a uh, all-in-one. Is it all-in-one or? Yeah, all-in-one combo oh, washer dryer. Back there, Andrea. Yep. And there's Man. the bow. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we'll show that in just a second. And then here we've got the bathroom. So, do you know what these are MSRP in for? Off the top of your head? Yeah, about two twenty-five. Really? Yeah. Man, two twenty-five, and you're getting a diesel. This is phenomenal. Really nice bunk over the cab. Here's the cockpit area for your international. Um, this is gonna drive just like a pickup truck. Really, really nice, especially for tall people who want a Class C. This is phenomenal. Uh, what what else we got going on here, Mike? So again, new interior wood color. Yes, sir. Flooring. We added the cup holders in the in the front up here as well. Um, we got rid of the we did a new style sofa this year. Okay. Uh, new color sofa as well. Um, back here in the bunks. This is the most exciting. Yes. So for you that don't know, this is the bow. Please tell us what the bow is. So this is going to be your bunks slash office. So you got your office space here right now. You can fold up your chair. Mm. Locks into a magnet over here. Now it's a wardrobe. Now it's a wardrobe, sir. Yep. Bada bing, bada freaking boo. Bunk bed, office, wardrobe. What I love is <clears throat> my opinion, and, and I'm telling you this, Mike, when I put bunk beds in the titles of my videos, they suck. People don't watch them. <laughs> my viewers don't watch them. They're like, bunk beds? I'm not looking for something with bunk beds. But when I do the Encores and I do the Maradas, and now the Entourage, when I put the bow on it, everybody watches it because it works for so many people. Bunk bed, office, wardrobe. Even if you don't have kids that come with you, mm -hmm. this is just a phenomenal choice. What, what, what's been the response on your end? Oh, it's been killer. You know, and also, I've been hearing a lot of uh, our customers using the putting dog kennels in here yeah. as well. So, yeah. uh, there's another use for you. You have but a dog? The, absolutely. What's your dog's name? Uh, <laughs> shout out to Oscar and Rolo. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Too loud, yes, yes. Sir. <laughs> awesome. I love it. But yeah, no, I love the dog crate, litter boxes, storage, junk and just put it away and then put it's it gone put it away love that so, continue on sir back here we're gonna have just a little trademark to the entourage is gonna be our tilt to bed okay um so you know if you're when you're traveling yes you have to have it up but it still gives you a space to sit down um and relax when you're in here you know it's a class c with a huge king size bed Correct. you know don't get me wrong when we do the video we will still probably make this our dislike but once you're a class c like this that has so many likes we gotta find three dislikes, so um, that's very cool. Nice TV right there. Yep. Now, now, what's going on beyond this wall? Like down here, like anything on that or? Uh, back no, here. That, that's the yeah, bunk. That's, no, no, the wall. The wall, but the bunks are behind so there. So you got your bunk spot. Yeah, 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 for, yeah, sure, yeah. for sure, for yep. sure. Yep. Very this cool. This will close it off. Again, washer dryer prep, <clears throat> or actually the washer dryer is in here. That is an option. Nice. What is really nice on, on the Entourage is for your options, it's full body paints, partial paints, washer dryer, um, and your lithium. That's your only options. Yeah. So it makes it pretty simple for our customers out there um, and our dealerships. I love it. I love it. Let me get one look at this bathroom here. Porcelain toilet. There it is, a um, radius shower. But again, this motorhome is pretty cool, Andrea. What it do you is. think? It's, it's very comfortable, too. Yes. <laughs> I'm sitting here getting a little massage from my back. There you go. I'm just looking at the backsplash while I'm sitting here and the lights in the kitchen. Right, and, right. And it's very pretty cool. cool. It's yeah. different. Well, Mike, kind of thank, you. thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks I want to thank everybody from Coachman. All you guys have been fantastic. Not just today, but like over the years. I was telling some, some other people this. Um, it's funny because the RV market's starting to get tight. And you have to start making pro nobody's going to buy a coachman no disrespect just because your name's coachman you have to come up with creative floor plans you have to we are coming into the age where you have to listen to the customer and do what the customer wants and it's only a compliment to coachman that you guys are innovating not just on your super c's or your diesels or your a's or your b's or it's not 
any of them, it's all of them. Right. And you guys are just kicking butt and taking names, and that's why we love having Coach Man on the show. Anything you want to say? Uh, just uh, come check out the Entourage, check out the Freelanders, Leprechauns, and Concords, and all the rest of Coach Man. Thanks, Perfect. Guys. Thanks so much. Shout out Oscar and Rolo. Rolo. Oscar and Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with another tour. Thanks, guys.